Hi, welcome to West Virginia. I'm Lisa Sakula, and behind me today I have my Airedale Terriers, Hank, he's a two-year-old male, and Georgia, she's a one-year-old female. I'd like to talk a little bit about Airedales today. These guys are pretty high energy. They need to do something. If they don't have something to do, they get in trouble. You might see that in some of our wooden furniture. This area of our house is their room. We were coming out of having some of the larger schnauzer breeds and happened upon little Miss Georgia back in March during the pandemic lockdown and brought her home and she just wormed her way right into our hearts immediately. And we knew that it was gonna be something that we were gonna just love being a part of. Hank kind of came into our lives sort of by accident. Um, he was a puppy from a very large litter. Her female has extremely large litters. He is from a litter of 14 puppies. All survived and they were all male, which is extremely unique. And Hank was bought by a gentleman for his mom who lived in, in Colorado. Uh, he is not a rescue. He was not from a bad situation. He's actually from a kind of a sad situation because she passed away family wasn't able to keep him. So he had gotten in touch with the breeder and she in turn contacted me and asked if he might be a, a, something I was interested in because since he was a little bit older, um, instead of raising from a puppy. So we did a little soul searching and thought about it and decided that Hank was going to be a great addition to the family. So we drove 12 hours to Missouri to pick him up. What was fun about that is this was going to be Georgia's first big car trip and she's been afraid to be in cars. She doesn't particularly like it. She's kind of afraid of heights, which makes her actually really fun in a vehicle because she just would get in and lay down and is a great traveling companion because of that. So we hopped her in the car and she drove with us to 12 hours to go pick up Hank. We thought that would be nice for him to get to meet her right away because we weren't sure if he was going to be a little sad from having kind of been moved out of a situation and maybe suffering a little bit of loss. So she rode with us out there to meet him and the instant she met him, it was love at first sight. These two bonded immediately. Um, you can see that we have them in separate kennels. This is their bedrooms. This is where they sleep. Um, but this is pretty much the only time that they're separated, um, except for when, maybe when she's in heat, we do keep them separated. They are just, always happy. So they remind me of a goat in pajamas. They're just funny and cute and playful and they just always seem happy. They can make you mad. They definitely can get into a lot of trouble and tear a lot of things up, but this is an awesome breed. I would recommend to anybody who's interested in kind of a high energy, fun dog that is extremely versatile to maybe check out this breed. Said they're Health is generally good. They're, they do require a certain level of grooming. They, uh, with any pet, they are gonna require their annual veterinary visits. And there is gonna be a little bit of a cost going into it, but these dogs are really great. They tend to have a lifespan of 11 to 13 years, so they're gonna be around for a while. So again, nice family pet that you're gonna have for a while and they will worm your way, their way into your heart just like they did to mine. These guys aren't going anywhere. They're gonna be with us for a real long time.